Hey everybody, this is Sean V. Bradley, president of Dealer Synergy, created the Millionaire Car Salesman Group, and I am super excited because I got my man Jeremy right here from Vin. Jeremy, can you tell everybody who you are and what you do, brother? Uh, yeah, I'm with Vin Solutions. I'm a part of the senior leadership team, and uh, I manage, you know, help our dealers sell more cars and move metal and make friends. Okay, and we are in what city and state? We're in Kansas City. Okay, cool. And then right over here, let me just get off of this for a second, and we got this gentleman here. Can you introduce yourself, sir? Shane here with BombBomb.com. Okay, and where are you at right now? I'm in Chicago uh, at a different conference. <laughs> okay, I love this. But what we want to do is I want to kind of just talk about how – to utilize BombBomb, Bomb, you know, within Vin Solutions, because Shane, you got obviously a lot of clients that are on, on both, you know, your platform as well as um, obviously, you know, Vin Solutions. Now, let's go in here. We're using. Sorry, guys, I gotta get out of here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. There goes my Vin Solutions. Okay, so we're using a joint client, one of my favorite dealers, which is the RK Auto Group here. So I want to just kind of go in. I'm going to talk to you, Shane. So they're on BombBomb. Bomb. How do you recommend that someone utilizes um, BombBomb Bomb within Vin Solutions? Uh, I mean, there's a couple of different ways. The, the main one, I think, which is the easiest done in Vin Solutions is the sales and service processes area. Where okay. you can automate your responses from... Uh, a manager or a GM that's actually introducing them to a new experience with your dealership. Okay, so, so they can actually add videos into those auto responders, so they feel personal, but they're they're personal, yeah. uh, and they don't actually have to say anybody's name, but it kind of invites them into a process. The oh. other way is you know oh. following up leads or appointments that are that day and being able to put a face at the name. Go Let's go through the first one. So you're saying that like with BombBomb Bomb, that when when we set up the action plans or when we set up the uh, the processes in the back end, we could actually code the BombBomb Bomb inside there? Is that what you're saying? Correct. Okay. Yep. This is something that we just have started doing in the last six months. Uh, I don't know if RK has been on that process yet. Yeah, so I know I know one video right here. So so watch. This is this is my process, but they created this right here for the initial email. So when you see it, there's that's a bomb bomb video that's in there that's that's actually integrated. So it looks like that there is you know a video, but it's really not. That's an animated GIF, Shane. Can you explain what that is? Because it, it's got motion to it, which kind of draws people to click through it. Correct. So it's a three second animated preview. This was tested over 10 million email sends to get you the greatest engagement. Um, and so that bar that tells you how long the video is, the play button, all that stuff is done by purpose, data driven to engage people to actually play the video. Um, and so that's what you're seeing right there, which is all track what rolls up so that your salespeople know when people are engaging. Um, so one of the things that's really great about this specifically is that we even have opportunities where um, they can respond back to you um, in you know, reactions and stuff like that. But all it's doing is it's inviting them into a new process with your dealership and then having, you know, you're using the, the Burge fields within solutions and it has the salesperson that's assigned to the deal, uh, their information at the bottom. So you're driving them to respond back and grab their attention. All right, so I got a question for for Vin. Okay? okay, so you know how in in there's there's templates that are in here, and you know how you could segregate templates for fo like there's phone scripts, there's email templates, and I know with the with the new platform for the SMS multimedia, um, you could have text message templates. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay, is there a way that we could categorize, and if you could show me how to drive better than I can in here, how? I would like to organize templates better now because uh, at least for like, if we're going to do this, I would like to have like plain text templates or email templates, you know, text message templates, but then I'd like to be able to have also yeah, John, video. Your time. I gotta, I gotta yeah. Do your off. thing, but it's do your thing. I know you're at a conference. Okay. So how do I turn around? No, that's perfect. How do I turn around and create and segregate like, you know, a video templates from bomb bomb or video text message templates from bomb bomb. So where would I go and how hard <clears throat> is that to do? Yeah. I mean, all of our, all of our templates are found under settings, ILM, CRM settings and templates. Okay. Uh, from here you have the ability to click on manage templates mm -hmm. and then this will be a list of every template that's current available, currently available in the store. Um, now, you're allowed when you're creating, adding templates in to choose a category mm -hmm. um, that allows you to manage the list so you can find them in, in uh, certain categories. Um, 
the manage button out to the right hand side allows you to delete, remove, add in new categories so that you can help organize them. So sometimes it's a little bit of a painful process right. uh, coming into a store that's already been you know, active on VIN for a while, um, but it's worth the effort to help organize them and find them. Now, you don't have to worry about that too much once you've created them inside of the processes, because in the processes, it doesn't, you, know, right. you just have to choose them one time and then everything goes Well, on. just best practices. This might seem kind of basic, but like talking to Mark and you guys earlier, some of the basics is important. You know, would you recommend what I said or would you have a different idea? Like, you know, I don't mind if you recommend something different as far as organizing the templates. Do you think that we should segregate video emails and video text message templates because they are different and because they possess multimedia? Or just would you just have them subject-based and then just kind of, you know, just thrown in, in, in yeah, the middle? I, I mean, it does change things a little bit with video because it's not as um, it's more specific to your staff, right? right. And you have staff turnover, um, whereas uh, your basic templates, um, you know, it puts salesperson signature on there and dealer information and things that are unique to the lead and the customer. Um, so if people change, it doesn't impact it as much. Whoever that. Uh, customer or lead is assigned to now it just interprets that information so it probably becomes more important once you have um, videos of people to make sure that you're not sending you know information to people that you know of a sales rep that doesn't exist anymore so the just the organization I think having a strategy around it creating a category for your videos creating a category for your text templates um, and knowing, like, you almost have to add on uh, one of your steps when you terminate an employer, when somebody leaves, it might be going and deleting their templates and making, you know, just part of right. normal, like, hey, I got to get customers reassigned. I've got to go uh, make sure there's no task frying or people that aren't here anymore. Um, it becomes one of those things that you probably need to do in the same, uh, with the same idea. Perfect. Well, listen, I'm going to close this because I know we have about two minutes. You got to get going. Thank you so much.